30. 30 is not old, so don't feel stung. 10 years from now, you'll think it's young. But recognize the wisdom that 30 years brings and use it to succeed in so many things. Three decades of life provides understanding and insight, so decisions you make will be better and more right. Most choices you've made up to now have been good, but to take time to consider these thoughts if you would. It's great to see all the discipline you show, but I wish you would get better at telling people no. From a work ethic standpoint, I wouldn't want more. It is something about you no one can ignore. Eat better, sleep more, might help out a lot. Loosen up that social schedule, give it a shot. Too many happy hours will give you a fit. Alcohol consumption could be reduced a bit. Spend less, save more is something to try. About this I know you don't have to ask why. But overall, Sarah, you've lived like a star. I take pride in your life and the way that you are. Because for the past 30 years, I have watched you grow to the successful young woman that I now know from Panera to the state to Vistage and more, and now you are working on Amazon's floor. You're friendly and kind and fun to be around and a center of attention to the friends that you found. You had a relationship once that hurt you a lot, then found Andy Ramirez to take up that spot. You got married to Andy in a gala affair, and now have a good life that you both want to share. Next on your list is a family I know, but I respect your decision to bring this on slow. For your first three decades, you've done real well. What the next three bring, only time will tell. But even three decades can only make you so wise. Insight and vision, after all, is a prize. For me, I've seen three decades multiplied by two. And this time around, I've finally gotten a clue. The first three decades were on a wing and a prayer, living life selfishly without a care. The second three decades presented things for me to see, like a disconnect from family who should be close to me. So listen to the wisdom of three decades times two, and don't let the same thing happen to you. Happy birthday, 30, Sarah. I love you. Thirty-one. You are living your dream at thirty-one. Got a husband, a house, two dogs to run. But now Bai is here, and she's so brand new, beautiful and treasured, just like you. I was proud of you the day you gutted her out, and still proud of you now. I'm here to shout. She's a precious little child who looks like no other, unique to the world, just like her mother. She's got a responsible dad and a dedicated mom. She depends on you both, so you must remain calm. The care of a baby is an every-minute chore. When you give her your all, she will always need more. With Vi in the house, your priorities must change. Your wants and desires, you must rearrange. I know you're adjusting and sacrificing well. Not going to work for you is hard as hell. But there is no better person to provide for her needs than the mother who made her and from whom she still feeds. And although you're frustrated because you want to be free, you got to be strong and have trust in me. Because I'm telling you the same thing happened with you, but mom and me both figured out what to do. We gave up our fun because you mattered the most. I'm so happy I did it, and to that I can boast. So for now, sweet Violet should be all the fun, but one day, Sarah, your work will be done. The sacrifices will be worth it. You will have to wait and see from the pride you will feel in her when she's ready to be free. So hang in there, Sarah. Violet Ann is number one. That's just the way it is at the ripe old age of 31. Birthday number 32, baby. You know, I love you, Sarah. You're living your dream like few people do. You've got a house, a family, and soon baby number two. Very soon the new baby space is going to shine. She means so very much to you, you've given up your wine. You've got a man who loves you dearly, and without you cannot live. You've got two loving, barking dogs that you continually forgive. You've got the precious toddler Violet to take care of day and night. 
You mean everything to her, and you are her cherished sight. You are the center of the universe to both Andy and Little Bi. To live a single day without you, they would never want to try. To manage your upcoming baby, you are giving it your best. Three hard exercises each day for leg strength are putting you to the test. You mean so much to Andy that he bought you a machine, and when you use it every day, you will end up strong and lean. You know many, many people who think you are first tier, family, friends, and co-workers who all proudly hold you dear. You are efficient at your job, but sometimes fail to get your due. Assertiveness would help, but we all know that's just not you. No matter how many kids you have, they'll all quickly grow a ton. If you're not so very careful, you will miss much of the fun. You are caught in the middle of life's child-rearing bubble. Personal sacrifices you make now will be well worth the trouble. When the rearing bubble bursts, you will never get it back. Any time you miss inside it, your kids will forever lack. So birthday 32 puts you in a little jam between living life to the fullest and raising your little ma'am. You like a busy schedule, and there's things you like to do. But won't they always be there when the kids are raising through? Mom and Dad will readily help since you love to work so much. But the kids are missing your smile and your warm and loving touch. Before long, the day will come when you are just a dear old wife. Too late to realize then that these were critical years of a baby's life. They are important years for offspring to make sure they grow up right, and mother's care, guidance, and watchfulness are invaluable to that plight. So it could be time to ponder just what you wish to do as the child-rearing years engulf you at the age of 32. Thirty-three good years. Three years in a family of four. Big new house with some new decor. Surrounded by people who you they adore. Same two dear pups with a new doggy door. You're a very good mom, but kids are a chore. Managing them gets you physically sore. Got a machine, so you gotta do more. Strengthen those legs and strengthen that core. Lucy is fine, but Bia's a bore. She's not that easy for you to care for. It would be better if she respected you more. So you better learn how to fight, because it'll be a long war. Violet and Lou are impressionable for sure. It's a purpose and duty you cannot ignore, to teach them the skills to fly and to soar. Discipline and character are what is called for. You work real hard so you can shop galore, buy a lot of stuff because you are not poor. Lead a busy life people don't ignore, but you get it all done with three people to care for. Enjoy yourself, Sarah, that's for sure. Living the dream you envisioned before. One time around there will be no encore. 33 good years has opened that door. Thirty-four. I can't believe you're thirty-four. My little girl, you are no more. Little Sarah Bear, who I cared for, now has a family of her own and their lives to ensure. Running a family at times can feel like a chore. With a husband and kids, it's sometimes a war. So you've had to adapt and make adjustments galore. But your dedication to all, I do not ignore. Surprised I'm not, you can't endure. You've got a cord of strength running through your core. From family members who came before, you were raised to handle all of life's uproar. Now the strength and the courage you were molded for, they are clear to see, which I adore. My cute little Sarah Bear, she exists no more, but I'm so proud of my Sarah who just turned 34. Okay, Sarah, here we go, baby. This is the one we've been waiting for, birthday number 35. By age 19, you were out on your own. Spun your wheels for a while with a future unknown. You and I, of course, could never agree, but you remained grounded enough to get your degree. At age 24, you were busting your ass. Panera, the state, but nothing first class. You continued to grind as a hardworking girl, then the break that you needed did finally unfurl. To Vistage, you went with a career path in mind, a new lease on life as an old relationship declined. At age 26, you met the love of your life. Just 20 months later, you were husband and wife. You guys moved to Seattle to fulfill Andy's dream, and you were qualified enough there to join Amazon's team. By age 30, you had a kid in the fold. At age 34, two beauties to behold. You've got health, wealth, happiness, that's as good as it gets. And a loving family too, there are no regrets. 
Three and one half decades to you have been prime. Happy birthday, Sarah, for the 35th time. Happy birthday.